Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, set up a workstation uh, to connect to the main uh, copy of Quick Quote uh, 4, which has the uh, database that we want to use uh, that's on another computer on the network. But uh, we're going to do this through Google Drive. And there again, it's to show people that want to use Google Drive how to do it. Uh, doing it on uh, just a regular network is the exact same except you just don't go to Google Drive to select the uh, uh, database. Now, you have to have set up Google Drive on both computers and installed uh, QuickQuote 4.0 on the main computer uh, and have its information on Google Drive before you can move on to this. <coughs> First thing we want to do is we want to uh, go ahead and, and the same thing we did on the other, we want to uh, map a network drive. Uh, so just like we did on, uh, on the one where we set up the uh, main one. Let's see here. Uh, okay, want to map a network drive. And we're going to go ahead, just like we did in the other one, we're going to use a Z. And we want to pick our own computer. Uh, they're going to go to Users. And under your username that you're logged in, you're going to find your Google Drive. We're just going to select that. So we now will map that as Google Drive. And you can see here's the quick quote. Uh, the QQ40 directory that we put on from the other when we did the other video and set up the main one. So we do have access to it. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is uh, we're going to go to uh, ShopCal Software website, uh, shopcalsoftware.com. And when you get there, you want to select on the product Quick Quote 4.0 Additional Licenses. And you'll come on down, you scroll down a little bit, and you're going to see a link there that says you can download the workstation installer here. So go ahead and we're going to go ahead and click on that. And we'll start the download. Uh, download has started. So I'm going to go ahead and pause uh, the video for a little bit uh, as this downloads. Okay, we've got our download completed of the uh, QQ40 workstation installer. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just uh, right click on that or double click on it. And then we're just going to go through accept the user agreement and install it. Okay, once you get to this, depending on uh, your computer, it may or may not have uh, DHTML uh, already installed on it. Uh, if it does, it'll typically come up and ask you if you want to uninstall it or repair it. You can just cancel out at that time. If it comes up with a screen like this, you need to go ahead and uh, agree and install it. Now on... Uh, Windows XP, you're going to get another error because Windows XP doesn't use a DHTML uh, on it. So uh, you'll get an error saying that it's like for Vista and all that stuff. Just uh, click cancel out of that and go on to the install. So we've got to go ahead and install the uh, DTMHL uh, on this computer. This is a Microsoft deal. Again, depending on the uh, speed of your computer, this may take uh, several minutes. And then we'll get an installation complete. And we go ahead and finish out of that. So we can go ahead and close uh, the browser down now. Okay, once we have Quick Quote installed, the workstation installer on there, uh, you'll have a desktop icon over here. And you want to right click on it the first time and select run as administrator. <coughs> now on rare occasions, 
you'll have an issue with the installer that you download on uh, a few Windows 7 machines uh, it just uh, seems that the runtime doesn't want to work on that if that ends up being uh, the case with you um, contact support and we'll give you a uh, earlier runtime uh, that is known to be stable on Windows 7 uh, but this is typically Windows 7 and down issue if it does occur and it's not an issue with uh, Windows 8. So once we start up the workstation installer it's going to want to know where the master uh, database is and if you remember we uh, had set up our C drive so that's where we want to select and we want to click on there and then we want to select the QQ40 deal. So we went to our Z drive, brought it up, clicked on QQ40 and we selected the uh, QQ40 ADB file as the main uh, deal. And we're going to click open on that and then we click here to install. Now what it's going to do is it's going to build what's called a shadow. And when you get to this part, you're going to need to use the default uh, login when it asks for that. And it's going to go ahead and complete the uh, install of the shadow database. And now we're into Quick Quote. And it's creating the op uh, network optimized database right now. So it's asking you to please wait. And then it should complete that and shut down. Now, when we click on the uh, deal, we should come right into uh, Quick Quote. And it'll start up and load up. And now we're running the workstation mode. Uh, and we're syncing through Google Drive. Uh, so we've installed a workstation and uh, it's linked back to the main database on the other computer through Google Drive in this installation. But if you want to install it uh, without Google Drive and just across the regular LAN, it, it's the same process. You uh, install the workstation and then you uh, take the uh, when it asks where the main database is, you just navigate to it across your uh, LAN and give it that uh, uh, location. And once you do that, allow it to install, create the shadow database. If I can shut down, then you can restart it and you're good to go. So that should take care of all of that. And uh, like I said, if you have any issues, uh, be sure to contact support. Thank you.